One of the most interesting things that we can do with percents is to stack them. Let me give you an example of what I mean. Suppose that at a certain company, 70% of the employees are women, and the company estimates that 5% of its women employees will take maternity leave each year. What's going on here? Right, we can imagine all of the company's employees and of them, 70% are women. Now, if we take that 70% who are women and zoom them out, so we're looking at those now just by themselves, the company estimates that 5% of those will take maternity leave. Now, if I told you that the company has 1,000 employees, then we could say, 70% of those 1,000 employees, or 700, are women. And then 5% of those women, or 35, will take maternity leave. But we could ask a more interesting question without knowing how many employees the company has. Without knowing how many employees the company has, we can still ask what percent of its employees will take maternity leave each year. Here's how. For the women, the base is all employees. The percent is 70% which I'll write as 0 0.70. And the amount is the number of women. Which we know will be 0 0.70 times the number of all employees. Now for those on maternity leave, as given, I'm just putting those little tick marks on the, on the letters because this A, P, and B are different from this A, P, and B. For the maternity leave story, the base is the number of women, which we said earlier was 0 0.70 times the earlier base. The percent is that 5%. And the number on a maternity leave now, well, it's 5% of the number of women. So it's 5% of 70% of all employees. What we've found then is The number of employees on maternity leave can be expressed in terms of all employees. So the number on maternity leave is 5% of 70% of all employees. But now we can simplify this expression. Multiplication is associative, so we can do this multiplication first. We'll say 0 0.05 times 0 0.70. We find 0.035b. This number then is what we multiply the number of employees by to get the number on maternity leave. If we express that as a percent, we see that 3.5% of employees are on maternity leave. So what we've done here is just 
manipulated an expression algebraically. We haven't at any point calculated exactly how many employees are on maternity leave. We don't even know how many employees the company has. But we can interpret our simplified expression. So notice what we've done here. We haven't figured out how many employees are on maternity leave. We don't even know how many employees there are. We just wrote an expression for the number on maternity leave in terms of the total employees. And based on that, we were able to interpret the simplified expression to show us the percent that we're on leave.